this video let us see about alcohol content alcohol belongs to invariant group of neurotic uh, class of poison this invariant uh, is a common term used for the preparation which is having alcohol in it and which can cause uh, addiction liability in a person Inebriate poisons are those poisons which uh, intoxicate and produce symptoms of uh, excitement and narcosis. Examples of beverages and percentage uh, of uh, alcohol present in it. Rum, whiskey and brandy which having 43% of alcohol. Wine, 15% of alcohol and beer, 2-10% uh, to, to alcohol. So, inebriant are the substances that in, induce uh, intoxication and inebriation and uh, it uh, includes mainly alcohol, barbiturates, benzodiazepines, and even chlorohydrate, which can cause uh, addiction liability in a person. Now, coming with the types of alcohol, we have ethanol, also called as ethyl alcohol, grain alcohol, methanol, is called as uh, methyl alcohol, wood alcohol, isopropanol, it's also called as isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and we have ethylene glycol. According to the syllabus concern, so we will be talking about uh, ethanol and methanol poisoning and its management. This is a general picture of uh, methanol poisoning. What is the significance of poisoning and the impact? And methanol is administered, so it will be acted upon by alcohol dehydrogenase to produce formaldehyde, and uh, further the formaldehyde will be acted by alcohol aldehyde dehydrogenase to produce. Formic acid. This formic acid raises the pH that's, uh, towards the acidic. So acidosis can be absorbed. It can directly participate for ocular toxicity and this acidosis condition can cause inhibition of the mitochondrial respiration. Thereby, tissue hypoxia can be absorbed. So that by symptoms of general toxicity will be absorbed. In hypoxia condition, lactic acid production can be seen, which can contribute for acidosis condition. This acidosis can also cause a circulatory failure, so thereby tissue hypoxia can be absorbed. So, this uh, circle is called as surplus hypoxia. So, then coming to the route of administration, if alcohol is uh, administered either in topical inhalation, even intravenous injection, or oral injection. Absorption and distribution absorption of ethanol is by Simple diffusion, 25 percentage of ingested uh, dose of ethanol is absorbed from the stomach, a little percentage when compared to the small intestine where 75 percentage of the alcohol will be absorbed from the small intestine. These are the factors affecting the absorption as it is a diffusion concentration gradient, so the presence of food in the stomach can interfere and also health status of the stomach, rate of emptying of the stomach, rate and quantity of alcohol ingested and also tolerance which is differ with different people. Distribution of alcohol as alcohol is uh, hydrophilic and uh, can distribute into the fluid cellular tissues according to their water content. Total body water is dependent on age, sex as well as body weight. Alcohol can cross a placenta as well as blood brain barrier. Then coming towards the fatal dose, uh, logically, if you see, there is no specific fatal dose of alcohol because tolerance individually it varies. So it's a blood alcohol concentration, so that specifies the lethal dose. It may be uh, more than or equivalent to 350 milligram percentage. Coming to the fatal dose, it may get vary percent to percent. Is absorbed less in the case of thin and lean person, females, mentally unstable subjects, patients suffering from liver disease, epilepsy, cerebral trauma, a patient using barbiturates, antihistamines, tranquilizer, and hypnotics, where it may be less than 350 milligram percentage. So, it may be more in the case of tolerance people. Then, coming with the fatal period, so relatively, it is more. Uh, more than uh, 12 to 24 hours or sometimes it may extend up to 5 to 6 days. This is the stage of uh, alcohol intoxication. 
so uh, we can observe uh, according to the milligram percentage in the body we can see three stages here stage of excitement stage of incoordination as well as stage of narcosis so if alcohol present uh, in the range 30 to 100 milligram percentage stage of excitement can be seen by increase tachypneus can be observed in the person increase self confidence decrease sensory perception loss of fine motor skills can be observed when uh, slowed information processing uh, and increase sexual desire can be seen in 30 to 100 mg percentage and coming towards uh, the range 100 to 300 mg percentage where stage of incoordination can be seen incoordination of thought speech impaired judgment confusion slurred speech flattering gait can be observed when nausea vomiting dilated pupils then even criminal offenses are committed in this uh, range and now uh, if the concentration is more than 300 milligram percentage stage of narcosis where deep sleep rapid pulse hypothermia even uh, labored breathing contracted pupils even uh, macwan sign uh, can be present coma and death can be observed in the concentration where more than 300 milligram percentage then coming towards the laboratory test for diagnosis of alcohol poisoning a blood test can be done cutaneous fluid can be checked even also urine analysis can be done for laboratory investigation then coming with the effect of alcohol and driving driving inability is affected by 50 to 60 milligram percentage and the driving uh, ability will be impaired where uh, faulty depth perception can be observed when poor peripheral vision distorted color vision reduced night vision and increased reaction time can be seen with the effect on driving when diagnostic test uh, finger nose test can be done or tight line test can be informed when uh, breath analyzers can be used in order to check the alcohol concentration then coming towards the treatment of uh, poisoning where uh, two possibility let us see uh, the treatment in hospital gastric lavage technique can be helpful in the removal of uh, unabsorbed poison when artificial breathing Whenever required, it can be included. And monitoring of electrolyte imbalance should be done. Urinary catheter can be placed for removing of the alcohol. Even IV hypertonic glucose solution can be given if severe hypoglycemia is absorbed. Fructose solution can be administered. And hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis can be preferred if alcohol or absorbed. And coming towards the effects of uh, chronic alcohol poisoning on the body, causes liver cirrhosis, physical, moral, and mental deterioration, chronic uh, gastroenteritis, weight loss, peripheral neuropathy, impotence, and sterility can be observed as a chronic effect. Coming with the common clinical syndromes, so delirium can be observed in the acute attack. So even uh, tremors, excitement, fear, hallucination, even auditory hallucinations can be observed. Even uh, patient may become homicidal or some time suicidal tendencies can also be observed. Then coming towards the course of of uh, psychosis, hallucination, disorientation, multiple neuritis, loss of memory for the recent events can be observed as a clinical syndromes. And coming towards the treatment of chronic alcohol poisoning, abuse treatment can be started by giving disulfiram. As you know, this disulfiram is going to block the metabolism of alcohol. So it can be given in a dose of 0.5 mg. Given a tablet, citrated calcium carbamate, 
so it can be given in dose of 50 mg followed by psychotherapy so let us see in general about the types of alcohol so these alcohol are actually derivatives of hydrocarbons there are three categories of alcohol monohydroxy alcohol dihydroxy alcohol trihydroxy alcohol the monohydroxy alcohol ethanol methanol and isopropanol are the example dihydroxy alcohol consists of glycols ethylene glycol trihydroxy alcohol so they are not really alcohol but uh, only derivatives like propane derived from glycerol or glycerol this ethylon is also called as grain alcohol coming to the physical appearance a very clear colorless liquid with a faintly fruit odor and sweetish burning taste it's both water soluble and lipid soluble in nature coming towards the source ethanol is produced mostly by the synthetic uh, production from ethylene fermentation of sugar cellulose or starch when uh, such uh, that uh, the method is uh, used in the production of beverage alcohol enzymatic hydrolysis of cellulose can also produce anhydrous ethanol uh, even azeotropic distillation method can be used and beverage uh, ethanol is uh, produced by fermentation of sugar from various cereals vegetables or fruits with the help of yeast uses a uh, beverage uh, purpose it's used popular alcohol beverages which include beer wine whiskey gin brandy rum and vodka solvent uh, after shave lotions colorants mouth washes and perfumes coming towards the medicinal uses of alcohol several uh, Antihistamines, decongestant, multivitamins, and cough syrup to patients, so it will be having 2 to 25 percentage. Ethanol has been popular in the past as an antiseptic in the form of uh, solution, it was available. Ethanol sponging is an effective remedy for hyperthermia. So, an injection of uh, dehydrated alcohol, that is absolute alcohol, relief of uh, long lasting pain in conditions such as regaminal neuralgia condition. And it's also act as an antidote for methanol and ethylene glycol poison. As a preservative, it can be used. Rectified uh, spirit 90 to 95% of ethanol is used as a preservative. And also for uh, many chemical analysis, it can be used. It's also used as a fuel. Ethanol is uh, used to Extract nucleic acid from whole tissue or tissue culture in uh, virtually in all biotechnology process. So conclusion about the use of fatal dose uh, 1 pint approximately 550 ml or uh, part 2 pints or approximately 1100 ml of strong distilled spirits such as whiskey taken in short span of time can be lethal. The usual uh, fatal dose corresponds to the approximately 6 grams per kg body weight in adults 3 gram per kg in children blood alcohol a level excess in 400 to 500 mg per dl is usually considered to be lethal but once again tolerance matters it depends on the individual person 